What's up guys and welcome to Delta Room, which is an entirely new series that I'm starting up here. And I actually was a big fan of Undertale back when it came out. I of course did not have a YouTube channel back then, but now this is not exactly a sequel, but it is, is made by the same creator and it is in some way connected at least, so I decided to give it a shot. So the first thing, would you like to start from chapter 1? And this is the chapter 1 and 2 demo, so if we start from chapter 2, we're probably not going to know anything, so we're going to go ahead, select yes, the new sound effects, alright. I mean, I really know nothing about this game, so, okay. Are you there? Um, okay, are we connected? Um, well, no context. Do we actually start from chapter two, guys? The soul. <laughs> Excellence. Truly excellent. Um, what's going on, guys? Now, we may begin, okay? Well, I thought I would be starting. Okay, um... Oh, okay, the music first. You must create a vessel. Oh, okay. Like the head that you prefer. So it's basically a creepy version of like a choose your character screen. Here we go. I already know the controls and stuff. So look at all this, guys. Okay. In Undertale, you didn't really have a choice, you had to be Frisk. But look at all these different bodies. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks pretty cool. Select the torso that you prefer. Um, oh, dude, you can actually look really different here. I like. I actually like this one. That one looks really good. Select the legs that you prefer. But where are we? <laughs> look at the background. We're in the void, guys. <laughs> Bro, this is ghastly. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. Um. These legs, you know what? Where's the medicine legs, guys? Where's the medicine legs? Um, I guess I'll choose those. They look face similar. This is your body. Do you accept it? I mean, bro, it's looking pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Thank you. Now, let us shape its mind. As your own, okay. We're really just, this is really just the creative character screen. What is its favorite food? But what is this? <laughs> what is this? The two meme options, pain and cold. It's not even meme, but what the heck? You know, we're going to go for sweets. We're doing a pacifist eat. What is your favorite blood type? So there's a guys. I don't I don't know if these are blood types. <laughs> I don't know if these are blood types, guys. My science class taught me otherwise. You know what? We're going to be A B. We're gonna be. Uh, we're gonna be kind of crazy. Which color does it like most? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this has any re relevance, but suppose we can go for cyan. That is one of my favorites. Please give it a gift. Oh, okay. So, like I said, we are doing a pacifist roots. Um, if it has the same system as Undertale. So far, it's very similar, so we're just going to go for kindness. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Ooh, okay. Definitely love, bro. Actually, no, hope. I have hope for what this human can do. I've answered honestly. Yes, I have. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Uh... I guess it's the seizure warning, except in a creepy fashion. Understood. Name your vessel. Okay, so this is our vessel. Well, we're going to name it, of course. Just a gaming fan, except it obviously cannot fit. So we are going to go for... Me not being able to find J. Oh, no. Okay, here it is, up here. J. A. Just. Uh... Gaming, um, 
Where's F? Okay, there, <laughs> there it is. I'm so stupid. It's going to be super awkward if that has any relevance, but there's no way that just a gaming fan will fit. So there we go. We call it Jag, <laughs> just a gaming fan. And what about the creator? Oh, your own name. Okay, well, I guess I can input my own name. I've not really mentioned it on the chat. But I guess name revealed, guys. Insane stuff. Um, here it is, man. Nate. This is the true name. Excellent. Come on, bro. Truly excellent. Thank you, bro. Neat. Can you stop? I want to get into the game. Thank you for your time. Okay, you know what? At least he's thanking me for my time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Great stuff. Oh, shoot. Will now be discarded. So you just wasted my time. No one can choose who they are in this world. You I got scammed, guys. I wasted so much time. Of course, it's the fake outs. What is her name? Chris! Dude, it's Toriel! <laughs> it's Toriel! It like, I don't even know, guys. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. Oh god, my voice acting. <laughs> Dude. I only wait outside for you, alright? Okay, bro, let's see Chris. Pretty epic W room is all I gotta say, but more in our bed, here we are. Chris. Not a killer. <laughs> we have love one. Two dollars. I mean all of this. Weapon pencil, armor bandage, money to so do. Oh no. <laughs> We're not doing that yet. We're not gonna troll Toriel yet. But guys, so this is basically if I had to guess maybe like after the pacifist ending of Undertale. Although it's not really connected that much, so Alright, let's inspect things. Clothes, sure. Alright, I mean, dude, this plays so much like an Undertale fan game right now, guys. This feels like an Undertale fan game. It's a red dragon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Oh, dude, it's it's the Deltarune. Okay, I'm honestly pretty excited, bro. It's like monsters and humans living together, bro. We are, like... I don't know, maybe we're in, like, a car's position, I don't know. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under, filled with old books. Um, alright. Dude, who is this? With all the trophies. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, Jaws, Religious Skull. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Why the depth? And why, like, nothing on this one? <laughs> the drawer is mostly empty, except for... A school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Um, who is the... This is, like, Chris's bed, right? Who is the person to the left? Is, is it, like, Frisk? It's a beautiful day. Nah, nah. Oh my god, is that sense on the table of reference? Oh, dude, okay. Actually much different than uh, the Toriel and Undertale's house. There are many books. Ta Tale of, Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Not really. An assigned copy of the human of histories of monsters. Oh, by Gerson Boom. Dude, that's crazy, all the Undertale characters. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. About you. The crayons in the drawer. The labels have long faded, and there's no green. Oh. Dude, why there's so much this? Okay, he here's Chris, guys. Look at this. It's only you. Ah, uh, not like, despite everything, the door is locked. Damn, okay. So we're just getting shut out, guys. <laughs> we're getting shut out. Oh, but before I forget, we're going to troll toy uh, Call home. Hello, dreamer residence. Who might this be? <laughs> Chris, <laughs> did not make me come over there. <laughs> Chilling toy, uh, just like back in Undertale. I still know music though, okay. Is this outside? Oh no, it's the bathroom! Okay, you looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cooler Boys Body Spray Spray for the Boys, a flaming hot pizza flavor. <laughs> you only get these references if you played Undertale. It seems to be almost entirely full. <laughs> it's a toilet. Flush it. Oh, okay. You know what? We're going to conserve water. We're not going to flush it. It's good to conserve water. Yeah. Yeah, we're just like that. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. <laughs> Wait, is that for, like, Toriel? Oh, dude. The question. Does Asgore live here? 
I don't know. Is, is this really like a perfect time? Um, I guess let's keep going. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Yeah, who is our brother? The, yes, there's some white first, like in the drain. I was, I was prepared for that. There's some cinnamon batter cake down the stove top. Okay. Cookie cutters, for gingerbread monsters, and gingerbread humans. Nice. Well, that's actually so much attention to detail there. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. That's just the toy owl moment right there. <laughs> it's a landline phone. But you already have a cell phone. Fair enough, but oh dude, it's Cherry L. It's Cherry L, the beloved living room chair. Crazy stuff, bro. Is this the TV, I guess? It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in. Okay, guys, we're already like 10 minutes in. Let's go. It's Toya. Kiss. There you are. We might still be able to make it. Oh, the music starts finally. Kiss, it is. A Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I hope it stays this way when Azuel visits next week. Oh, dude. But I wonder if the excitement of university. Will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Oh god, bro, the music drop! Oh, dude! <laughs> Is that like Caddy? And there's Bradley right there, and there's a frog! It's, it's everyone! It's Undyne! Hey, <laughs> police officer! And of course, uh, spelling the library be wrong. Okay, guys! Oh, we're going to school! No, <laughs> no! I'm doing this to escape from school! No! Oh, dude! His team or teeth, bro. It's crazy stuff. Oh, dude, look at that. The hug. Okay, we're heading to class now. Okay. Dude, so yeah, why are you looking around the class? There's like a ton of new characters and stuff. Man, I'm pretty excited. Even just to explore the town and meet all the um, monsters from Undertale again. Or maybe some even humans. I haven't really seen any yet. But then, <laughs> there's Alphys, guys. Okay. Too many things to commentate on. So, does everyone have a... Okay, Chris just coming in. Oh, Chris. We thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so, walk around and find a partner, okay? Oh, dude. <laughs> it's the school theme. Epic gaming right here. Uh, I guess we're just going to... Do the classic... Um... A player thing. Inspect everything in the room. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. <laughs> well, the computer's wallpapers are rotating slideshow of nature images. No anime? Ah, yes. And rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing. Blushing. Dude, okay. The music's always a banger, though. Okay. Office, what do you think? What, what am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. <laughs> Animated schoolwork and... Hey, Chris, have you juiced up already yet? <laughs> Card on 4K. Okay, so there's all these new people. We're gonna start, of course, with Tim. I think this is Tim. This is definitely Tim. Chris, our Hey, so is Tim already have partner? Don't tell me, bro. He's... he's... <laughs> it's a black and white hard point, eh? Sadly, it seems like it already has a partner. But what about this, bro? Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. Dude, this does like blown up monster kid. I end up having a party with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps sending me and saying, How the partner? Like a cowboy. I wonder what you have to say about this. Partner? I only know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I really got a partner. Scram. <sighs> okay, damn. So who is this? The first like new character. We are, this is Tammy. I'm pretty sure this is grown up monster kid. And this is Snowy, like a snow drake. So who is this? Ah, uh, you just turn your head back. Ah, uh, Chris, late again, I see. Um, you need a partner. Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smarter students. Though, no, wait, Chris, now that you think about it, your unique skills might help a lot on this assignment. Really? <laughs> nah, I actually want to get an A. Emotional damage, guys. This. <laughs> yeah, another new character. Who is this? Like a snake? Chris, you know Jock and Gina Cat, you're always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. Here's Hoodoop Day and they ran out of hoops first. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Uh, is this Caddy? Click, click, tap, tap. Take it. Damn! Oh, this is a phone. <laughs> oh, that does like a glass of water or something. Okay, and another new character. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? But we wouldn't be partners. 
Huh? You wanna be partners? Oh, sorry. Bradley already asked me. Okay, so Bradley's the blue weird dude. And I can ask myself is if we can make a group of three. Oh, actually, nice, bro. Oh, that's like a Fisher. Not yet. Oh, yes, Edbo. That is demanding, Chris. <laughs> okay, I'll ask. Miss Office, um, it's okay if we have a group of three. Sorry for my terrible voice acting, guys. Hey, what? I did not approve of this. A poet. What? But Chris doesn't have a... No, well, what were you saying? She was just saying that we're fine being alone. And doing some drama. But actually, I just want to know if... No, well, can you please speak up? Ooh, okay. Plot point right here. Who is this? Hi, Susie. Susie. Ooh, okay, bro. The classic, maybe the boon. Am I late? Oh, no, you're fine. We are just, uh, yeah, choosing partners for the next school project. And, s oh, no. Um, seriously, you with Chris. <laughs> kind of predictable. Oh, God. Good. Uh, now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignments. No way we're actually gonna be in school. Please, have a skip option. <laughs> oh. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? Uh, this is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. But how about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. You can't do that, office. That's, that's what everyone hates about teachers. You can't do that. Uh, anyone, please. <laughs> hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Elfie is why than Susie and I. Hey, good idea, Noel. Oh, that's Noel, okay. Susie, since you came in last, well, why don't you go get it for me? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Bo, the slam. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. See you later. Dude, we just got thrown under the bus here. What do people think of this, this person? Don't <laughs> no worry, Chris. I've always thought Susie can't be so bad, you know? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Okay, optimistic you. Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Almost, almost as if you should have, as they say, listened. Dude, okay, this guy is so annoying already. Click, click, tap, tap. Don't die. Okay, not not quite very reassuring. Chris, if I had arms, I would take off this cool high remembrance of you. Okay. Uh, one vote for going to get killed, guys. I, I have practiced from Undertale, though. Chris, don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie beating you up. You're just gonna fail when she doesn't do any of your projects. It's like we always say, Chris. You Susie you lose. Do, do they actually say that? Uh, that's not very reassuring. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, come on, bro. Reassurance? Yo, Chris, I'm sorry. If I just waited to be your partner, you wouldn't have to be hers. She's gonna bound you to pieces, Chris. They kick the butts of all those little pieces. <laughs> okay, Tem. Just Tem. Sue's fair means an egg never hatch. How rude! You can't do that to the Tem. Okay, in office, what do you think? Hey, Chris, what's the hold up? Go out there. Okay, guys, I'm getting my game in this prepared. Let's go. Oh, dude. Is this a guard? What the heck? Oh, no, that was the chalk. No. Okay. Chris. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Hey. Okay, before we go into this, I'm sorry for any background noise here. Anyway. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Yeah, boys, I saw you what looked like a cigar, but I'm pretty sure it was the chalk. Hmm. Can't even say. Okay. Again, the silent protagonist. Chris, the silent protagonist. Chris. Oh, damn. What's going on? Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Um. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Quiet people piss me off, but I'm what were the silent protagonists? Okay, damn, bro. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I got Susie eating all of the chalk. This is your last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Oh, okay. Dude, I think you're gonna get expelled for literally smashing me against the locker. You can't be doing this. 
Come on, Chris, don't knock shot. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Yes, let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste of time to get expelled for just having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger. A big battle time? I am letting myself, guys. I haven't done an Undertale battle in a little bit. <laughs> When I just explode for some real carnage. Chris, how do you feel? Okay, guys, prepared. Dude, that face. About losing your face. Okay, bro, that's actually terrifying. Oh, no? Nah. Ah, uh, bull chicken. Ow, oh, nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. You'd be ashamed to make a bear your child. Bro, what? Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to class. Then, Chris, you'll do a project. How's that sound? Very bad. Don't bother answering if you haven't gotten it by now. Your choices don't matter, but what if you can do a pacifist, dudes? Let's go, freak. Okay, bro. So we kind of got destroyed. We still have 20 HP, though. Alright, can we check out these lockers? The locker is locked. Um... The lock is lock is locked. Uh, the lock's locker is locked. The lock is lock's locker is locked. The locker is covered in shocking tin memorabilia. Um, all right, interesting. There's Susie. Okay, are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones will giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. <laughs> okay, guys, this game is so random. Okay, okay, man. Chris? Oh, I realize the baby classroom is a better fit for you. Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe we'll find a better partner in there. No, actually, let's not. <laughs> but okay. You drink from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Okay. What if we just... Yeah, what, you... what if we just... <laughs> Chris, you're just gonna skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? <laughs> That'd be rich, huh? No, I wouldn't. Get back here. <sighs> okay. What's going on? God, can you walk any slower or what? I gotta check out everything. Bro, you know how these games work. Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hands. Come on, freak. Okay, damn, bro. We're getting destroyed. Okay, we're getting the chalk, I guess. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We're just starting to have fun. Oh, no, you, you didn't let me escape school. Oh, damn. Nah, bro, someone turned off the lights, so we're <laughs> Dude, okay, that's right, though. Even Susie's scared. Hey, Chris, is it just me, or is it really dark in there? Uh, what's the holdup, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Yeah, but we're not going in there. <laughs> the creepy music's playing. You, you never go in there. Fine, if you can be a wimp, then I'll... Uh, we're both going at the same time. <laughs> Susie's facade is breaking, guys. Dude, okay, it suddenly got super creepy around here with this music. See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find the light switch. Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> Chris, if you leave me, you'll... <laughs> okay, okay. We can't be doing this. Okay, guys. Susie, don't you realize that this is not a regular closet? That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. You don't do that. We can't even see the light anymore. It's a void. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we have to reach the end by now. Yeah, I agree. Can we even go back? Okay, okay. I thought we were stuck in here for a second. Uh, hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. How many worlds? Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants shock so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Thank you, okay? We're out of here. Oh, okay, actually. Okay. No. What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. Oh, no. You made a bad name for yourself. Now the papers are revolting against you. The fluids. Dude, what the hell? Oh, what? Dude, this pipe work. Oh my god. What is going on? Undertale. <laughs> Plot twist. That's the beginning of Undertale. Dude, do we have to do this? Dude, wait. Switching characters? What the heck? 
Um, guys, I don't think this is a closet. <laughs> I don't think this is a closet. And now we're controlling, like, a different character. Or maybe they just, like, out. Dude, what is this? They have, like, armor. This is still Chris, but they have 90 HP now. Bro, that's almost max love. <laughs> what the? Dollar zero? Item? Dude. Chris, do we have the wood blade now? There's magic? What? Level one bot, level one human. Body contains a human soul. TP, spells, guts. Guys, they gotta explain the system to me. They can't just throw me in here. I saw the cell phone though. It can be used to make calls. Toyel, help me. Try to call on the cell phone. Uh. Gas dude? What, what the heck? But it doesn't seem to be working. That, that. Okay. Ooh, okay, Chris is looking pretty epic, though, I will say. And the first save point. Okay. At times, you see a flicker. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... There we go, Chris, love one. And as you can see, already about 25 minutes have passed. So that is going to be just about it for this episode. We have no clue where we are. Oh, now we're Nate. File saved, okay. Well, guys, this has been a very crazy first episode. But, for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.